Hey you all, welcome to Religion Link TV. So I'm working on an upload. It's called Delayed But Not Denied. Explaining why this here morning read was going on a little bit later than normal. I'm going to try to sit back so you can see me in both angles here. But I'm Thank you so much for watching Religion Link TV. This is your girl Spirituality and my spiritual ears. Yay. I'm going to go ahead and get started and give you a little brief drop of a backdrop of what's the book of Chronicles. We are finally into the book of Chronicles, you all. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and give you a little backdrop of it, okay? This is your girl, Spirituality. You're watching Religion Link TV. And my spiritual ears stay. Alright, so listen. While that's uploading, guys, I'm going to have to take a break, upload that, premiere it, and then come back to the morning read. Things are just a little delayed around here, but never denied, okay? So with that being said, the books of the First and Second Chronicles cover the same period of Jewish history. There's a difference between Jewish history and in this morning read, in the First Chronicles and Second Chronicles, well, the First Chronicles, the book of First Chronicles, we get into genealogy real deep, okay? So, described in Second Samuel through Second Kings, but not the perspective is different. These books are no mere recept, repeti, repeti, repetition of the same material, but rather form a divine editorial on the history of God's people. Now, we didn't want that to happen, but since it did, give you a little movement, and, and, and yeah, I do move. I'm not a robot, okay? This is the morning read. Check it out, y'all. Look at what we got. Look at the scrolling across the bottom. I mean, we're, we're upgrading production around here like you wouldn't believe, right? So, with that being said, I do apologize for the two different textures and views. Well, color that you get from both camera views, camera angles, but God is good. It's being done, right? <laughs> All right. I feel good not just turning on my camera and not just recording from my phone, but having, you know, creativity behind me because I am a content creator and I created this image, you all. So I'm just giving you guys an image here. So let me go on and finish reading. While 2 Samuel and 1 and 2 Kings give a political history of Israel and Judah, 1 and 2 Chronicles presents a religious history of the Davidic destiny of Judah, meaning the, the throne of David. The former are written from a prophetic and moral viewpoint, and the latter from a, a priestly and spiritual perspective, okay? So it also goes on to say, the book of First Chronicles begins with the royal line of David and then traces the spiritual significance of David's righteous reign. And now guys, during this morning read, we got into the, uh, David and some of his reign in um, First Samuel, Second Samuel, First Kings. And Second Kings, I think he kind of passed it on to Solomon and so forth and so on. But then it goes on to say, The books of First and Second Chronicles were originally one continuous book in the Hebrew Bible. Where's that Bible at, guys? This is part of it. This is some of it. But there's another book, a complete book. There's books missing from this particular Bible here that does not give us people all of our truth. So it goes on to say, the title was Deberi Hayamin, the meaning, meaning the words, accounts, events of the days. Chronicles, keeping track chronologically of what happened. And I was always telling you in the book of Second Kings, when we read about a king dying, have you not read of his accounts in the book of Chronicles? How? We didn't get there yet, reading chronologically, right? So now we're in the book of Chronicles, and we're going to get to answer that question now. But shouldn't we have read Chronicles before they asked us that question in the book of Kings? Alright, so that just proves to me people do what they want to do.
with the word of God. So it goes on to say, the equivalent meaning today would be the events of the times. Signs of the times. <laughs> In these last days. <laughs> Chronicles, okay, so this is Chronicles was divided into two parts in the 3rd century B.C. Greek translations of a Hebrew Bible, the Septuagint, the, the, the Septuagint is a replacement of the Hebrew Bible. So when I hear people like Brother J. Wilson say he's about the Greek and the way the Greek taught us, they stole it from the Hebrew who are us. The miseducated Negro spiritually and through public education. So with that being said, it goes on to say here, guys. Um, <laughs> at at that time, it was given the name Paralupagumenum of things omitted. Because they know they omitted. Once the Greek got their hands on everything of God, they omitted some things from the real people. The Romans, the book of Romans, teach you all that they had the word and have the word of God and suppress it from his people. Okay? So with that being said, let's go on. I love my interpretation Bible translation cross-reference Bible. So it also goes on to say... Um, it's referring to the things omitted from Samuel and Kings. So it's talking about the things omitted from Samuel and King. Alright, so I still believe this book should go before Kings anyway. Because that's where we're asked the question, have you not read it in the book of Chronicles? And then, if it's omitting out what the Kings did, why not it just leave everything together Whatever the king did in the book of Kings, why not it was just put in there and left as one book? Again, mass deception. It was one book in the Hebrew Bible. The book of Samuel says it was one book in the book of Samuel. Samuel's 1 and 2. The book of Kings says it was one book in the, in the Hebrew Bible. So why not this? So I'm going to go ahead and finish reading this, you all. Then it goes on to say, um, uh, uh, and they added the phrase, Basileon Aoda, concerning the kings of Judah. The first book of Chronicles was called Paralenomena Primus, the first book of things omitted. The name Chronicles comes from, the, comes from Jerome in his Latin Vulgate Bible. 385 to 400 this would be AD guys right so then it goes on to say here I love how I can turn and give different angles and yes you wouldn't take me serious if I came up here huh. yes 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 let me get done here so it goes on to say Chronicorum Libre he sent his title to the sense he meant his title to the sense of the chronicles of the whole of the whole of sacred history, but it's not people. The Hebrew text of the God of the Bible, Yahweh, his name is all through the Bible, not Jehovah, not Jesus. These people, the Greeks, went through the world and deceived what God wanted for his people. Nonetheless, we have this Bible and we have to do the best we can with it. That's why God says in it to study to show ourselves to prove. So I'm going to end here, go premiere, and I'll be right back to finish up this recording so we can upload this and have the morning read together. This is your girl, Spirituality, and my spiritual ears stay on the network Religion Link TV. Guys, God bless you, and I'll see you in a little while. is delayed does not mean you're going to be denied it, okay? And it's like how you have to see things in your natural, normal life. Delay does not mean denial. With the glasses off, delay does not mean denial, okay? So with that being said, enjoy the rest of your 
Mid morning. Hey you all. No. It's your girl. Early morning has gone. It's I'm just finishing up listening to the uh, so enjoy it. I'll drop you guys a video. So thank you. And we're going to get right into This is your girl, Lily Marie. TV, and my spiritual ears. Stay tuned. Alright you all, so let's go ahead and get right into it. That was the video called Delayed But Not Denied. It was explaining why I um, am late with the morning read. Usually between 6 a.m. 9 a.m. East Coast time. But again, I had breakfast. Um, you know, I had a good morning. Uh, and I'm just sitting here taking my time with this morning read because there's a lot of names. And let me see if I can let me see if I can go ahead and show you this um I pray everything works well if not I showed it in the video right before here it's a family tree and if you go check out that video you'll see the comparison to what we're about to read now I already gave you a backdrop in part one let me see if I can pull up a uh, family tree and see if it'll let me do anything here of the sort and bring that into the screen so you guys can see it right now you guys still see me I know I'm a little close here let me back up just a tad bit so you can see me down in the bottom frame you definitely can see me up in top alright so what are we doing here for some reason it's still not allowing the transition to go through for some reason let me get back to the cam so I can see where I'm at guys go back to the video called delay but not denied there's a family tree starting with Adam and Eve of course their three sons Cain, Abel and Seth Sheth was his name before the world turned into Seth. He is a Shemite before the world turned the black Israel Hebrewites to non-existent in the white Ashkenazi Jews to be the Hebrew Israelites or the Jews of the world, right? Um, Seth had descendants that we never hear about and who Noah comes through is Seth and his lineage so that's important to know and it starts out like that in the book of Chronicles so we finally made it to the book of Chronicles I do believe it's the 13th book of the Bible 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 your girl know this bible not inside and out but i study to show myself approved so that i need I unto god right so that I don't, i'm not a workman and need not be ashamed in front of mankind right rightly dividing the word of truth that's what we have to do people so i already gave you the backdrop of what um of what the book of chronicles is and was in the hebrew bible originally and then the Greeks came along and translated everything out to fit their needs as they rule the world now. So that's why we have what we have in this same said Bible. And that's why a lot of black American Christians believe what the Romans and the Greeks say through Christianity. Because they've been traditionally indoctrinated and accustomed to following pagan ways outside of this word uh, or, or the word of God that we have right the true word of God that we can still find within the text you have to be uh, smart and most black uh, Christians and people of faith have been miseducated with the public education system and spiritually going to all these cemetery schools not seminary cemetery schools learning of the oppressor how to teach people to be free spiritually but it just does not line up for the masses right so let's go ahead because it's a bunch of names people when I say it's a bunch of names it's a bunch of names people so let me go ahead and make sure this phone is off you might hear a bleep and a bleep and a bleep and a bleep in between uh, let me see I'm going to try to get it down 
There we go. Okay, so first things first. It says here, verse 1, chapter 1, Adam, Sheth, Enosh, Enoch. You have to understand, before Noah, there was people in the land, okay? And this this lineage is very, 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 very important to know who we are today and to know where we hail from, where we reign from. Because there was three brothers when you do get to the story of Noah. Ham is the father of the Egyptians. Shem is the father of the Hebrew Israelites. And Japheth went with his unmelanated self to the isles of the gentile and became the father of the edomites there's some truth to that i do believe even though okay check this out not of the edomites but the european caucasian because some of the edomites are the red man some would say the hairy man uh, he is the twin brother of Jacob who is Israel So this family tree is going to break down But you see how it starts with Adam and Seth Not Adam and Cain Not Adam and Abel Because Cain killed Abel Adam and Seth Is telling you how mankind came down into this world This is very 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 important I look light and bright This camera is a little off down here But that one up top is looking amazing y'all so let's get into it because it's a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of names. So um, it's only looking like I've been recording for a minute and 37 seconds, but I hope it's been a lot longer than that. Adam, Seth, Enoch, Genesis 2 and 7, you can find that. Verse 2, Canaan, Mahalalah, Jerod. Verse 3, Enoch, Methuselah, Lamech. Now, if you go check that video I did called Delayed But Not Denied, so far so good. We kind of lining up with that family tree I put in the last video. The one, for some reason, I cannot pull up here. I, I can just pop it in and show you guys. Why is it not transitioning over? I do not know why, guys, but let's keep it going, okay? Let's keep it going. I, I got the same family tree here in my lineup, but it's not pulling up. So we'll go back to the re regular webcam. There we go, and I can see everything on both screens. So for Noah, Shem, Ham, Yaphet. See, before Noah, there were people. Noah had descendants. Noah had ancestors. Tracing all the way back to Adam. The first black man created of the ground. In the image of the Most High God. Just a little lower than the angels. Supernatural powers. Ability to till the ground and, and rule a kingdom. Name everything that God said give a name to. He named in the Garden of Eden. You understand? It goes back. It goes deep. Somebody asked me to do the curse of Ham. And I have a joke. See, I know there's three brothers. And Ham is Ham. If there is such a curse of the curse of Ham, then it belongs to Ham. I am Ham. I am. You know? <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to make it wrong. It belongs to Ham. It doesn't belong to the rest of the world if that's the case. One of the things I like to say about that is their skin is extra dark, right? Ours is dark. If there had to be a curse, and this is just allegedly, and I'm going to do a whole family tree history down to him, and especially Nimrod, Tammuz, and everybody else that you want to know uh, who falls under the lineage of Ham. Now, just because the ham comes from Adam, the Messiah, the Most High God, does not come from the tribe of Ham, the brother of Ham. Christ is not a Hamite. He's a Shemite from the tribe of Judah. 
<laughs> and there's been some confusion in the world about that. So we like to rightly divide the word of truth line by line, precept by precept. Give you guys understanding of what's really going on in this word. I'm enjoying the new setup. Um, I've tried different things. Streaming works for me. Sometimes it breaks down. I'm loving the way I can record, upload, and still have interaction in the live chat. So I'm grateful guys. This is amazing. And I'll try to stick with this for like the next. Maybe till we get to 100 episodes. And then we'll switch up our scenery for the morning read. But right now I'm feeling it. It's bright. It's light. It's airy. It's free flowing. You got eye movement everywhere. You got great sound and great uh, presentation coming out. So yeah. And I actually look amazing. So anyway. Then it goes on to say it's going to start breaking down. Now it named Adam, Sheth, Enoch, Kenan, Mahalala, Jerad, Henoch, Methuselah, Lamech, Noah, Noah, Shem, Ham, Japheth. Now we're going to start to break down these Noah and his three sons and it just goes on and on and on. So let me go ahead and get with these names. I was kind of embarrassed to go live because I make mistakes. I'm human. But I tried to rehearse these just a little bit. Not too much because I don't want to get ahead of you. I want to be on the same page as you. Which brings me to this. If you guys want to go back to my playlist called The Morning Read, March 2nd of 2019 we begin with Deuteronomy chapter 5 now we're on chapter 1 and 2 of 1st Chronicles we've made some ground and paved some waves in this word and learned a lot if you want to be on one accord with the Holy Spirit and the Most High God go to Revelations chapter 12 then in the beginning to Genesis 1 and 1 and we'll all be on the same accord okay so here we go verse 5 the sons of Japheth, Gomer, and Magog, and Madai, and Javan, and Tubal, and Mashish, and Tyrus. So listen, you heard of the war. It's going to be a war of Gog and Magog. Japheth descendants are supposed to have this war. Alright, now it also goes on to say, you're going to hear a name called Ashkenazi Jew. Ashkenazi, in the book of Genesis 10 and 12, it says that, Japheth, Japheth, the son of Noah, the, like the third son, I believe, of Noah, went to the Isles of the Gentile. You're not Seraphonician. You're not Greek. You're not Roman. You're not Corinthians. You're the he the book of Hebrew that the Bible talks about in the same said Bible. Let's go there. So it goes on to say, um, these people here are real. You can look out in the world and see names and geographical lo locations. Verse 6. And the sons of Gomar, Ashkenazi, the Jews that live in Israel, they went to the Isles of the Gentile. They did, they, did, they did not stay in Jerusalem. They are not the Hebrew Israelites, first of all. They are not the Shemetics, first of all. They are not the Hamitic, first of all. So this world is pretty much broken down into three populations. You got Africa, you got America, and you got the European Western part, I mean, Eastern part of the world over there, right? And, and that's pretty much how the three suns are divided, if you ask me. Then it goes on to say, and rip path. And Togama, and the sons of Javan, Elisha, and Tarshish, and Kittim, and Dodanim, and the sons of Ham, Cush, and Mizraim, Put, and Canaan, and the sons of Cush, Seba, and Havilah, and Septa, and Raama, and Septacha. And the sons of Ra'ama, Sheba, and Dadan. If you go to Genesis chapter 10, it's going to correlate with this. And if you go back to the video that I did called Delayed But Not Denied, there's a family tree that breaks down Seth, 
Seth had children. Seth is always forgetting about, forgotten about. But Seth who is who Methuselah came through. Enoch came through. Um, Noah came through. Noah through Noah. <coughs> Eber. Elam. Then uh, Abraham comes way down the line. From a land of Chaldees. A land called Ur. Go figure, right? It gets good, guys. So then it goes on to say, And the sons of Ham, Cush, and Mizrahim, and Put, and Canaan, and the sons of Cush, verse 9, Seba, Havilah, and Septa, and Ra'ama, and Septacha, and the sons of Ra'ama, Sheba, and Dedan. Alright, so I'm going to put on my little Jamaican accent so it can roll off my tongue. Roll, roll off my tongue, man. Alright, verse 10. And Cush begat Nimrod. He began to be a mighty upon the earth. Now, the Bible says this in the book of Genesis too. But the Nimrod that I know and that I study became mighty to have his own kingdom. In his own land. In his own God. In his own way of life. He even built a tower of Babel and tried to reach up to heaven. And God cut that down, you know. The earth opened up between Africa, Saudi Arabia, and Israel. It was all one. There's nothing Middle East of anything. It was one continent before the Tower of Babel. And way before the Tower of Babel, the whole world was a pangeum, which all the landmass was together at one point. Especially Saudi Arabia, Israel, and Africa. It's all one continent. Israel is the most northern part of Africa. Don't let these 1700, 1800, 1900 maps fool you. Go BC and also go 13, 1400 if you have to go just as far as that. As far back as the 14, 1500s, 1200s. 1100 maps are out there look at these maps and you'll see that the land mass is not even the same geographically and they changed a lot of the names in the lands that existed then okay this teaching is going good so then it goes on to say guys and Mizraim begat Ludim and Anaim Anamim and Lahabim and Nephtalim 12 and Pathus and Pathrusim and Kasluhim, of whom came the Philistines, and Kathroim. You see, the Philistines are of Ham. They are an enemy of the Israelites. They are not of the same Shem. Brothers or cousins, their brothers, Shem, Ham, Japheth, all their children, their uncles of their brother's children. Absolutely. You can't get around it. But we all have our lineages through Ham, through uh, Shem, and through Japheth. So now it goes on to say, And Canaan begat Zidon, his first, and Heth. And 14, the Jebusite also, and the Amorite, and the Gergachite. 15, and the Hevitite, and the Archite, and the Sinite. Right? 16, and the Arvidite, and the Zemarite, and the Hamathite, ha, 17, the sons of Shem. Check it out. Shem had a son named Elam. If you look over in Saudi Arabia, there is a part of Saudi Arabia called Elam. Yes, they have a right to it, people. But Judah, the fourth son, of Israel, whom Jacob's name was turned to Israel, had, had a son named Perez. And through Perez came a lot of people down to Nashan, who has Salmon, who has Boaz, who has Obed, who has Jesse, who has David, who has on down to, they say, out of it sprang. The, the, the Christ, the Messiah, the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Let's get into it, y'all. We're going to figure out who our peoples is today. We know who these people are. So Shem, the firstborn, I believe, and oldest son of Noah, had a pretty caramel blend. 
But out of Shem came a lot of different shades of this same color black. Even he, even even um, Hitler said the Negro tribe is not from Ham. Nineteen thirty-six Time Life magazine. He did a documentary on himself. He said the Jews over there are a bastard Jew. They are not the real Israelites. So seventeen, the sons of Shem, Elam, and Ashur. Arphaxad and Lud and Aram and Uz and Hul and Gether and Meshach 18 and Arphaxad, Arphaxad beget Shalu and Shalu beget Eber. I've been telling you about Elam and Eber. It was not Shem and then Abraham. No, 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 people. This lineage is long and it's deep and it's thorough. Mm mm. So then, it goes on to say, In 19, and Eber were born two sons. The name of the one was Peleg. Now Peleg come on the scene. Peleg start having some children. And it keeps going down to Abraham. So it goes on. And Eber were born two sons. And the name of the one was Peleg. And because in his days the earth was divided and his brother's name was Jolton. I like the way I can go back and forth. <laughs> so anyway, it goes on to say, 20. And Jolton beget Almodad and Shalep and Hazamarvet and Jera. And 21 says, Hold Oram also and Uzal and Dikla. 22 and Ebal. And Abimael and Sheba. Okay, I wish I can have it up like this and have it somewhere propped so I'm looking up and not down. But it's good, guys. I'm feeling it. I'm on camera. You guys are um, fellowshipping with me. And these names are hard as hell to read, but we're going to get through it by the grace of God, right? So then it goes on to say. 22 and Ebal and Ebemael and Sheba and 23 and Opor and Havilah and Jobad and all these were the sons of Jotham and Shem, Aferdek, Shela, 25, Eber, Peleg, Ru'u, 26, Seru, Nahor, and Tera. Now Tera is the father of Noah. Did you guys know that? Oh, of Abraham, excuse me. Of Abraham, excuse me. And 27, Abraham, the name is Abraham. Abram, the name is Abraham, it says. Isaac and Ishmael was born to Abraham. People forget about Ishmael. Ishmael is included here because God told Ishmael you would get the guys a strip. Ishmael descendants is over there in semi Saudi Arabia, Israel, North Africa fighting for the guys a strip in old Palestine. Mm -hmm. So it goes on to say 29. These are their generations, the firstborns of Ishmael. Not by Ioth. Then Kedar and Abael and Mibsam. 30. Mishma and Duma, Masa, Hadad, and Tema. 31. Jetur, Nafish, and Kedama. These are the sons of Ishmael. Figure out who these are, Ishmael. You have descendants. You have a right. You are the heir to Abraham. You are Abraham's son by the handmaid Hagar. Yes, you are. Claim your stake. I, I, I don't. I don't feel sorry for the the Israelis over in Israel today because I know they're not supposed to be there. I feel sorry for them because they are. Assuming an identity that can change the whole world. If they would just come clean and admit that they are not the real Israelites. This world would be a better place. They have to assume responsibility. 
in what they're doing. That's why they catch so much hell over there from these people of the same said Bible. Ishmaelites, his descendants, was promised the Gaza Strip. Give it to him. That's our relative. He comes out of Abraham. That's our relative. Give it to him. And then come over here in America and give to us what's rightfully ours. Anyway, it goes on to say in 29, these, oh, we got 109 verses. We got 54 in one chapter and 55 in another, y'all. And we only on verse 29 in chapter 1. But the lineage, you can't skip through it, you guys. And um, so 29, these are their generations, the firstborns of Ishmael. And I read all the way through 31. 32 says, now the sons of Keturah, Abraham's concubine, she bears Zimran and Jokshan and Mikdan and Midian and Ishbak and Shua and the sons of Jokshan, Sheba and Dadan. So this, you know. We're learning now. All we hear, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. No, let's go back to Seth, the son of Adam, who brought forth all what you are hearing of how all these people got into the world. Even if you want to believe God sent the floods and the, and, and the uh, rains for 40 days and 40 nights, these are still the descendants of Adam. These are still, still, still. And I believe whose descendants got really taken out was Cain's. Even though we're related to Cain, some of Cain's descendants still is in this earth as well, if you ask me. That's just my personal opinion about it, people. Because even at that point in time, I still believe God allowed two of everybody that was left to come forth. Hoping just the two of Cain's descendants, two of his descendants, two of no, you know. I believe there was other people that were allowed to get on that ark. I do. And Cain, some of Cain's descendants are still out here murdering their brothers. So that being said, <laughs> I love it guys. This is amazing. I have like a new studio within my old bed of fist, right? Oh, things are about to get so much better and brighter. As you can see, I do apologize about the glare from the light. I am a photographer as well. Worked for Olin Mills for a pretty long time. And you're supposed to tell people took your nose down so they don't see the glare but it's coming from the reflection of the screen all right so it goes on to say we are down around verse 33 and the sons of Midian, ephah and ephah and henoch and abida and eldaha and um eldaha all these are the sons of katara 34, and Abraham begat Isaac, the sons of Isaac, Esau, and Israel. Esau, the father of the Edomites, still in the land today, who tried to kill his brother because his mother and he and Jacob, Israel, tricked them out of the birthright, so they say. Because the Bible has an allegory that the younger should rule the other older. And the older don't want the younger to rule. The older does not want Israel to rule. Esau the Edomites went through this world killing, stealing, and destroying because of a bowl of lentil soup. Which now the father of the Edomites pretty much practice and worship Lent every February, right? Okay, so <laughs> let it tie together, people. Let it come full circle for you, right? So it's true. <clears throat> it's true. It's true. There's some truth to it. Deception. They say, Oh, you tricked me out of my birthright. You, you made me go out there and get some potted meat, some deer meat, and make a bowl of lentil soup. And I come back, I don't have my birthright. I am going to kill, steal, and destroy until I take everything you own, people. That's what they did, right? 
And I, I'm serious. That's what they did. I'm trying to make light of it, but it's not nothing funny. But hell, trying to have personality while I do this morning read. I would like for about 300 of y'all to go over there and subscribe to my channel. All right, and support me on my journey. Thank you. <laughs> so anyway, at least not for nothing for me pronouncing these hard names. You black folk keep naming your children. <laughs> There's nothing new under the sun, and the apple don't far too fall too far from the dang on tree, right? So anyway, it goes on to say, let me get through this. We are on verse 35. Now, 34, Abraham begat Isaac, the sons of Isaac, Esau, and Israel. Esau, Yaqub, Esau, Jacob, Esau, Israel. The nations of Israel, pretty much people, are 12 brothers. Let's face it. So it goes on to say, 35, the sons of Esau, Eliphaz, Ruel, and Jeush, and Ja'alam, and Korah. 36, the sons of Eliphaz, Teman, Omar, Zephi, and Gotam, Kenaz, and Tima. Timna, excuse me, and Amalek. Amalek, the Amalekites, Amaleks, Amalekites. We get in here somewhere, people. 37, the sons of Ruel, Nahab, Zerah, Shemna, and Mizra, and the sons of Sir, Lotan, Shobal, and Zebion, and Una, and Dishan, and, De and Azar, and Dishan, Dishan. Alright, so here we go, guys. It's getting good, getting good. So, 39. And the sons of Lotan, Horai, and Homan, and Timnah, was Lotan's sister. Then it goes on to say, And the sons, 40. And the sons of Shobal, Elion, and Manahath, and Ebal, Shephe, Onam, and the sons of Zibion, Ahia, and Anam. 41. The sons of Anan, Dirshan, and the sons of Dishan, Amram, and the Ish, and Ish, Eshban, and Itharan, and Charan. Listen to me, people. I'm sick of you saying Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. There are some other names in this Bible. If you begin to identify with them, you may recognize your grandfather's name, your great grandfather's name. You. You may remember something to wake you up in the spirit when you hear these names. These are not Caucasian, Anglo-Saxon, European, white names. They're not. These are indigenous, aboriginal, black. When, when I tell you these 12 people had their own tongue, had their own look, had their own oriental, Asian near look and as I was saying about Shem if that is the curse of Shem if God says you know what Ham I mean excuse me curse of Ham if God says you know what Ham because you saw your father Noah naked in his drunkenness I'm gonna make your skin black we were already black he probably made the Egyptians just a little bit more black because their skin is blue black to an extent their skin is on the darker, darker side. But again, if there was a curse in the land for anybody's skin to be black, it was not everybody cursed that way from Noah. So there were still black people with Noah, right, people? And if that is Ham, I can understand why their skin would be a little bit darker than the average black person. But again, that's Ham's curse. That's probably why Nimrod went through here wreaking havoc. <laughs> That's probably why Ham and his family went off serving Amin Ra. They are from Egypt. Egypt. There's some truth to it, people. I'm going to do a whole story on Ham, okay? So let's get back into it. Now, we go on to say, verse 42. The sons of Ezir, Bilhan, and Zavan, and Jakan, and the sons of Dishan, Uz, and Aram. 
Now we go on to verse 43. Now these are the kings that reigned in the land of Edom. Edom. Not Eden. Edom. Before any king reigned over the children of Israel. Bela the son of Beor. And the name of his city was Denhaba. 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 44. And we have to go down to verse 54. 10 verses to go, y'all. So it goes on to say, And when Bela was dead, Jobab, the son of Zerah, and Bozrah reigned in his stead. 45. And when Jobab was dead, Hushan, uh, the land of the Temanites, reigned in his stead. 46. And when Hushan was dead, Hadad, the son of Bedad, which smote the Midians in the field of Moab, reigned in his stead, and the name of the city was Avith. So it goes on to say, 47, And when Hadad was dead, Semla and Mes Mesreka reigned in his stead. 48, And when Semla was dead, Shual and Rohoboth, by the river reigned in his stead. 49. And when Shua was dead, Baahanan, ba the son of Akbar, reigned in his stead. Akbar. So we know some Akbars in the world. Absolutely. 50. And when Baalanan was dead, Hadad reigned in his stead. And the name of the city was Pa'ai. And his wife name was Meher Meharabel, and the daughter of the daughter of Matri, the daughter of Mezahab. It's giving you this information for a reason, people. You have to know your lineage. One thing I always tell my family and friends: you gotta know who your family is, or you'll be out having kids and sex and all that stuff with your kin folks. It's important that we get into this. I am going to do a special family tree edition of all of this, a special ham edition. But mainly, I am going to break down the 12 tribes of Israel. I did it in one of my books over there in the Eyes of God, Black Lives Matter, Now and Then. But again, um, we'll do it here on the morning read and be more specific with it, okay? So now, we are on verse 51. Hadad died also, and the dukes of Edom were Duke Timna, Duke Aliyah, Duke Jetheth. And 52 says, Duke Ahalabama, Duke Allah, Duke Hainan. Okay? So then it goes on to say, 53, Duke Kenaz, Duke Timna, Duke Mibar. 30, 54, excuse me. Duke Magdael, Duke Irem. These are the Dukes of Edom. So, this is your girl spirituality and my spiritual ears. Stay. <laughs> Guys, we is doing a dang on thing up in here. We're going into chapter 2 of the book of Chronicles, the 13th book of the Bible. You see it there on the screen. You can get your daily bread. It's being served from 1 Chronicles chapter 1 and 2 today. And guys, let's move right along being led by the Holy Spirit through these hard, difficult uh, names. <laughs> and, we'll go ahead, and we'll go ahead and learn more of our kin folks and learn more of the people that existed in this world besides the central characters and figures that we hear in this same set Bible, such as Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, you know, Christ, Joseph, Mary. There's so much more to our history, people, that they would make you want to forget it, that they would put you in slavery so you wouldn't understand it. You understand what I'm saying? So, let's go right into chapter 2, verse 1. All right, so I'm almost excited. We have 55, <laughs> 55 verses to go. Okay, so you kind of get where we're going with this morning read, right? <laughs> Your genealogy is deeper than what you know, guys. So much deeper. Verse 1, chapter 2, verse 1. Let me see if I can pull myself back just a tad bit. 
Alright. So I don't want to get away too far away from the light. Hold on, guys. I don't want to get too far away from the light. But here we go. Okay. Chapter 2, verse 1. Second book of Chronicles. First book of Chronicles. These are the sons of Israel. Bam. Of who? Jacob. Israel. Not anybody else can say they are the father of the 12 tribes of Israel. It's impossible. They had one seed bring forth 12 sons by different mothers. Don't act surprised. Ain't nothing new under the sun. Some of y'all got kid children out there by different women. <laughs> but yeah, he did. He had several different baby mamas. And um, thank God that that we're still alive and living and doing well, you know, for the most part. Being that a lot of us suffered at the hand of the Willie Lynch syndrome, okay? So now, <clears throat> the sons... These are the sons of Israel. These are the sons of Jacob. These are the sons of Jacob, the 12 tribes of Israel. Not the geographical place. There are 12 nations called Israel, the sons of Israel. Get that in your spirit, people. Get that in your spirit. If you bless Israel, talking about Jacob and his sons, God will bless you. If you curse Israel, talking about Jacob and his sons, Israel, God will curse you. When those Jews over there start blessing America, God will bless them. That fight in the cease over there. And, and Trump getting what he got, I'm, I'm calling it like it is. This is the morning read, and we call it episodes because you never know what you're going to get. This morning, you got a fine presentation. You got light. You got air. You got a breath of fresh air. I've been up all night, guys. I'm going to get done with this morning read. Lay down. I took my shower. I got dressed for the day. I got to take a nap, though. I did an all-nighter last night. So not for nothing, guys. I'm on this YouTube streets working hard, man. Please support my channel. So anyway, these are the sons. We have Reuben. We have Simeon. We have Levi. We have Judah. We have Issachar. Now, and it's going in order. Reuben, Simeon, Levi. Levi are the priests, the, the Haitians of the world today. Judah is the said black Americans that suffered the most persecution in the world because the tribe of Christ sprang out of us. Now, this is the same thing. The 12 brothers, not everybody got the light of the world, the light unto men to come out of them. This came out of Judah's son. It came out of Judah and his son Perez. And it just goes on down. Read the book of Ruth and it'll tell you the lineage part in there as well. Chapter 4, I believe. So anyway, it goes on to say, Issachar, Zebulun, verse 2, Dan, Joseph, Benjamin, Naphtali, Gad, and Asher, verse 3, the sons of Judah, Er, and Omen, and Shelah, which were three, were born unto him of the daughter of Shua, the Canaanitess. And Er, the firstborn of Judah, was evil in the sight of the Lord, and he slew him. Okay. Four, and Tamar, his daughter-in-law, bare him Perez. And Zerah. And all the sons of Judah were five. Now it says his daughter-in-law bare him Perez. Now check this out. If Judah's daughter-in-law bare, bare Perez, Oh, wait, 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 I'm just, I'm just, I probably misreading it here, but I hope I'm not. Four, and Tamar, his daughter-in-law, bare him Perez and Zera. Judah slept with his daughter-in-law, Tamar. Hey, Tamar Braxton. <laughs> Won't he do it, girl? <laughs> <laughs> and 
And this is how Perez, Perez has to be the son of Judah because I've read that in other accounts. So, is it by his daughter, Tamar? Hmm. Could that bloodline be mixed already or is this ancestral? It says his daughter-in-law. So, she must have been the daughter-in-law of Er. Er got slew because he was evil in the eyes of God. And I bet almost certain Judah slept with his daughter Tamar. Daughter-in-law. So, it goes on to say, guys. Um, ooh, and Tamar, his daughter in law, bare him Perez and Zamar. All the sons of Judah were five, so he had five sons in total. But only one of Judah's sons brought forth the lineage. So you can exclude Japheth, you can exclude him, you can exclude all the other 12 brothers except for Judah and his one son, Perez. Not all four of his sons. So you see how to out of one son, the light of the world comes. Although we are the children of Israel, not all of us brought forth the, the light of God, the, the human light of God. Only one tribe did. That's why I rejoice. <laughs> oh, Winston Churchill called us a peculiar people. Oh, uh, 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 not a peculiar people, a formidable people that ever grace the face of the earth. And Mark Twain said, what is our immortality that we cannot die? We, the Russians, the Romans, I mean the Romans, the Assyrians, the Grecians rose up against us, the Persians, and we're still here. Now the European, Caucasian, Anglo, Saxon, white man, and we're still here. Some of the Egyptians, and we're still here. Some of the Muslims, and we're still here. The queen and her family, and we're still here. See how that goes? So anyway, it goes on to say, The sons of Perez, Hezron, and Humai, and the sons of Zerah, Zimri, and Athan, and Hema, and Calco, and Dera, five of them in all, and the son seven of Carmi, Achar, the troubler of Israel, who transgressed in the things of curse. So Achar, we have Achar here. <coughs> Remember back when we was reading, it said that he touched the accursed thing and went and buried something. I believe this is the story. Down in the ground and God said, who touched the accursed thing? Somebody got something evil and wicked and he had stole merchandise from the enemy, brought it, hid it in the ground and God kind of punished the whole tribes until they figured out who did what. That's who I believe that is. That's why they put that little side note there, a curse thing. So let's keep on reading. Eight and the sons of Ethan, Azariah, nine, and the sons also of Hezron that were born unto him, Jeramiel, and Ram, and Chulabai. Chatula, Chatula. Yerukanda fly, Chatula. Chilo. I love I love speaking in a Jamaican tongue every now and then. I won't do it on commercial, but that's my life off of camera. But anyway, that's how I'm so not fluent with speaking other names or learning other languages to an extent. But I just like it. Verse 10. And Ram beget Aminadab, and Aminadab beget Nashan, prince of the children of Judah. Didn't I mention Nashan? Let's see if this is the same nation that beget Boaz. Salmon. Didn't I say that earlier? And 11. Nashon beget Salmon. And Salmon beget Boaz. 12. And Boaz beget Obed. And Obed beget Jesse. Stop there. Jesse is the father of King David. But if you go back to the book of Ruth, like I was saying, somewhere around chapter 4, it'll corroborate this this lineage right here don't let them fool you people so 13 and jesse began his first eliab and abinadad and the second shema and uh the third 14 
Nathaniel the fourth, Radai the fifth, fifteen, Ozem the sixth, David the seventh. So these are naming Jesse's sons. Jesse has seven sons or eight sons. I believe. I believe Jesse has seven sons, right? David was the last. David was the one who prophet prophesied that would be the next king. But the people wanted uh, King Saul. Read the book of Samuel 1 and 2 into 1 Kings. So then it goes on to say here. I love it. I love it. I love it. 16. Whose sisters were Zeruiah. Abigail and the sons of Zuriah, Abishai and Joab and Ashihel three and we read about them in the book of I don't know Judges 1 Samuel 1 2 Kings 1 2 recently we read them okay we know about these people here we actually know some of their account because during the morning read we've been going through the lineage and learning these I people. just wish we would have had the account and the lineage at the beginning of the Bible and then as you read in chronologically you say oh I remember that name I remember that account but see how the Bible has you contradicting yourself jumping back around the mass manipulation of people who put the book together not God who inspired the word to be spoken and given to us but man who put the book together and said here you know so it goes on to say verse 17 and Abigail bare Amasa and the father of Amasa was Jether the Ishmaelite see how Ishmael is still intertwined here Still intertwined here. Six, 18. And Caleb, the son of Hezron, beget children of Azubah, his wife. And Jarioth, her sons, are these. Jashur and Shobad and Ardan. 19. And when Azubah was dead, Caleb took unto Ephrath, which him he bare her. Has this been her? <laughs> Oh Lord, I bet you they took that story from his story. <laughs> anyway, let me see here. I don't want him to say something. Caleb was like the right hand man to Joshua. They were like two of the spies that went out to spy the land. Mm hmm. So 19, and, oh, excuse me, 20. And her beget Uri, and Uri beget Bazaliel. And afterward, Hezron 21 went into the daughter of Machir, the father of Gilead, whom he married when he was threescore years old. And she bare him Segub, Gub, so Gub, G U B, Segub. Okay, so 22. And so Gub beget Jair. He had three and twenty cities in the land of Gilead. We read. We read these accounts. Remember God gave out the land and certain cities were given to certain people. Now, it goes on to say here, guys, we are doing amazing. Let me see if I can get this to at least sit up like that. Then I'm not like bending too far down, right? So we are on verse 20. One and after Hezron went into the daughter of Machir, the father of Gilead, whom he married, and he was threescore years old, and she bare him Segub, twenty-two, and Segub beget Jair, who had three and twenty cities in the land of Gilead, twenty-three, and he took Geshur and Aram with the towns of Jair. Okay, it's a little better, right? It's a little better. It's a little better, a little better. So it goes on to say, And he took um, the towns of Jair from them with Kanath and the towns thereof, even threescore cities. All these belong to the sons of Machir, the father of Gilead. 24. And after that, Hezron was dead in Caleb Ephrata. Ephrata, then Abiha, Hezron's wife, bare him Ashur, the father of Tokoa, Tokoa, Tokoa. 25. And the sons of Jaharamiel, 
the firstborn of Hezron, where Ram, the firstborn, Buna, and Oren, and Uzin, and Ahijah. Okay. All right, all right, all right. No, I was just thinking these old names remind me of the Orishas and the Oshuns and could be some ancestral relationship, people. I do believe. But the most high God is who we need to be serving, right? I was just saying O O O Ren, Ozem, and it just reminded me of Oshira, Orisha, um I meant Orisha, Oshun and you know, the seven gods, I believe. Anyway, 26 of, e of Egypt. Jaramiel had also another wife whose name was Altara. She was the mother of Onam. Mm. 27. And the sons of Ram, the firstborn of Jaramiel, um, were Maaz and Jamin and Eker. Okay. Uh oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, so almost messed up my um oh you guys can see it. Oh I know what happened. I know what happened. Get 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 back over there. I messed up my my view. Oh when I push the book up. Oh, it's okay, I got it back. We got it back. We got it back. We got it back. There we go. Oh, I messed it up just a little bit too much, guys. There we go. Okay. Uh, I'm just learning, guys. I'm learning. Chill out. We almost done with this morning read. We are on verse. <coughs> Where are we at? We are in verse 26. Jeremiel had also another wife whose name was Atara. She was the mother of Onam, 27. And the sons of Ram, the first of, um, firstborn of Jeremiel, were Maaz and Jamin and Eker. 28. And the sons of Onam were Shama and Jada, and the sons of Shama and Nadab and Abishur. 29. And the name of the wife of Abishur was Abihail, and she bare him Ahal, Aban, and Molid. Um, these names, you didn't know these many names were in the Bible, right? I know. Who would have ever knew? Who would have ever knew? 29. 30. And the sons of Nadab, so... Salad and Apaim, but Salad died without children. 31. And the sons of Apium, Ishi, and the sons of Ishi, Sheshin, and the children of Sheshin, Allah, Allah, I A H apostrophe L A I. 32. And the sons of Jada, and the brother of Shami, and Jether, and Jonathan, and Jether died without children. And the sons of jo Jonathan, Peleth, and Zaza, they were the sons of Jaramiel, verse 33 says. Verse 34, and Sheshan had no sons but daughters, and Sheshan had a servant, an Egyptian, whose name was, who named was Jara. Jara. 35, and we have to go to verse 55, y'all. And Sheshan gave his daughter to Jara. His servant to wife, and she bare him Ata. Thirty six, and Ata begat Nathan, and Nathan begat Zabad. Thirty seven, and Zabad begat Elfla, and Elfla begat Obed. This is a different Obed, cause Obed begat Jesse, and Jesse begat David, and David begat, and then sprang out the tribe of Judah. Remember that, people. So then it goes on here to say, Zebah 37 beget Ephla, and Ephla beget Obed 38, and Obed beget Jehu, and Jehu beget Azariah. <coughs> now, we read of a Jehu in the Bible 
who was the son of Jezebel, who God put an evil spirit on. He had her cast out the window. She hit the wall, shed her blood, and was eaten alive by stray dogs. The same Jezebel spirit that's demonic in the world today. But I thought his dad name was Ahab. Who was married to Jezebel at that time. So let me just finish reading and see. But Azaria was mentioned back there around the same reading. I think it was in 2 Kings. Uh, just go to the playlist of the morning read on this channel, you all, and get your daily bread from March 2nd going forward, because this is your girl, Spirituality, and my spiritual ears stay. <laughs> Guys, I will be in certain commercials in the morning read. I can do a lot of, you know, networking within software and applications now, different scenes within OBS. So I'll be, you know, upgrading. Uh, a lot of production around here okay so with that being said i'm surprised my voice is holding up because i did an all-nighter guys haven't been asleep yet today probably woke up sometime around 5 or 6 a.m yesterday east coast time today is february uh my oh, may 11th <laughs> 2019 and i've been up since may 10th <laughs> 2019 but i will take a nap and come back and do a live call-in show for you all so stay tuned hit the red box down below so you can be a part of everything that's going on on this channel all right so let's get back into it where was i we were talking about obed and so we get over here obed and jehu 38 and Obed beget Jehu, and Jehu beget Azariah, and Azariah beget Helez, and Helez beget Eleaha, Eleasa, excuse me, 40. And Eleasa beget Sisamai, and Sisamai beget Shalom, 41. And Shalom beget Jechamai, and Jechamiah begets Elishama, 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 like Elisha, Elishama. All right, 42. And the sons of Caleb, the brother of Jeremiah, were Misha, first his firstborn, which was the father of Ziph. And the sons of Marisha, the father of Hebron. 43. And the sons of Hebron, Korah, and Tupau, and Remke, and Shema. 44. And Shema begat Raham, and the father of Jokoram, and Rechem begat Shammai. 45. We getting there, guys. See if I can come up here again. Last time I moved the scenery, but let's see. So, 45. And the sons of Shammai was my aunt, and my aunt was the father of Bethir. Let's see if I can go this way and get a little closer to you guys. And um, let's see. 45. And the sons of Shammai was my aunt, and my aunt was the father of Beth Zur. 46. And Ephah, Caleb's concubine, bare Haran and Moza and Gezi, and Haran began Gezes. So 47 goes on to say, guys, let me just stay in, in frame here. All right. So it goes on to say, and the sons of Jidai. Rajim and Jotham and Gesham and Pelet and Ephath and Shaphath. 48. Mayakab, Caleb's concubine, bear Shabir and Teranon. 49. And we have to go to verse 55, guys. We are almost there. And she also bear Sheab and the father of Mamana, Sheba, the father of Mekbena. And the father of Gibeah, and the daughter of Caleb was Aksa. 50. There were the sons, these were the sons of Caleb, and the son of Hur, the firstborn of Eph Ephratah, Shoba, the father of Kerjatharim. 51. Salma, the father of Bethlehem, Hareth, the father of Bethgadar. 52. We get in there, guys. Almost done. Ready? And Shobal, the father of Kerit the Jim, had sons, Herohe and half of the Menahathites. 
Manahatites. Okay, 53. And the families of Kerjet the Jerem, the Itharites, and the Puhites. No Israelis here, guys. I love the brightness. It's beautiful. Thank you all. Thank you for your comments, your thumbs up. Thank you for the morning read. Thank you for your fellowship, for sharing my channel. Thank you for your subscription. I truly do appreciate it, everybody. This is not easy. When the rest of the world is sounding like the devil, it's hard to stay focused and say what thus saith the Lord and stick to the script of the Most High God. Trust me. It's so much easier to go out there and do what the rest of the world is doing. But thank God for a steadfast spirit, right? And that doesn't mean I, you know, I'm fun. I have fun. I do me. I just do the will of my father. Yes, I am. God bless you. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I got like three more verses to go in right here. Thank you. So then, actually, let me go on to say, 53. In the families of Karjatharim, the Ithrites, and the Puhites, and the Shemites, and the Misharites, of them came the Zarathites and the Eshtulites, Eshtulites, or Eshtulites, Eshtulites, okay, Eshtulites. So, no Israelis yet, right? I know. Who are they to change their name? If God called you the Israelites, why change it to Israelis? Because he said, if my people who are called by my name should humble themselves, right? Turn from their wicked ways, repent, seek me, pray. Then I will hear from heaven and then I will hear their land, right? So I'm excited. We're almost done with this morning read, guys. All right. 54, the sons of Sama, Bethlehem. And Nephtoathites, Nephtoathites, Atharoth, the house of Joab, and half the is the Menahathites, the Menahathites, and the Dorites. No Israelis here, people. I'm sorry. And the last verse of the morning read. Finally, it's not over, guys. We still have a whole bunch of. Remember, this is the Book of Kings, uh, Chronicles. Kings asked us about everybody we read. Did you not read the account of? So we're going to go through all the kings of Israel. Isn't that amazing? Right here in the Bible. They may have left some out here and there. Tried to disfigure who was who. And the stolen identity still goes on today. But you can see there was a lineage of people. And not all of us got sold into slavery. Not all of us were made to be slaves. Some of us escaped through the barren sea, the barren street. That's why the American Indian, the tribe of Gad, do not worship Christianity for the most part. And they do not have to adhere to what the black Americans and all the other people in America have to adhere to. They kept their lineage. They kept their heritage. They know they not. They are not Americans. They know that, right? So verse 5 goes on to say 55. And the families of the scribe which dealt at Jabez and Titharites and the and the Shemaathites and the Succothites. These are the Kenites that came from Hamath, the father of the house of Rechab. Now, if you go back to the book of Judges 116, they talking about Rahab there. This is the same Rahab that I told you had a son with a man named Salmon. And that son's name was Boaz. Bingo! The same harlot Rahab right here. They were all out of her house. That's why Christ said her name will always be in the lineage of the children of Israel. But she did such a great thing. She told a little white lie to protect the children of God. But it saved them from being captive. They were able to walk around the wall of Jericho and bring that sucker down. God was able to seize it. She was told, put a red scarlet out your window when we come back to seize this land. You and anything with you will not be hurt. But if they're outside of your comfort zone, outside of this building where this red scarf is, Everybody's going down in that city, and that's what happened. 
So guys, this is the morning read. I am your girl, Spirituality. You're watching my network, Religion Link TV. And uh, stay tuned for Set Your Soul Free Sundays. Oh, no, 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 no. So, Soul Sister Saturdays, excuse me. Soul Sister Saturdays. I'm, I'm not going to edit anything out. We make mistakes. God don't never edit out all my flaws. So why should I sit up here and pretend to you that I'm perfect when I'm not? I just dropped my microphone. Yay, that makes me human, right? I know, even though I have a supernatural ah, spirit from the Most High God that dwells in me, right? I'm amazing, and so aren't you. Because you can begin to move out of your flesh and begin to let the spirit of the Most High Ruach, the Most High God, dwell within you the holy spirit of the land right the highest spirit in the land so with that being said you all we got through another edition episode 70 baby 70 days allowed reading to the masses and guess what who else to do it with <laughs> somebody that has a willing and a glad heart right for the things of god that can break down his word to you read it not struggle with it i mean i'm not embarrassed by how i pronounce these words i'm learning who these people are whether i can say their name or not i'm learning how i got to be a black woman from the ancestral tribe of judah the original Hebrew Israelites reading a Greek Bible, right? Praising and worshiping a white Jesus, a white God. We got to keep reading this word of God, see how we got here. With that being said, I am your girl, spirituality, and my spiritual ears stay. <laughs> we did it, guys. That's it. Shalom. God bless you. So, Sister Saturdays, we're going to open up the platform. I am looking for two people. Two people. One for and one against. It doesn't matter what I put on the table. I'm looking for one person for and one person against. I don't like to argue. I don't like to fight. I like to debate, talk, put issues on the table. Let's round table talk it. Get it off our chest move on and like come up with some solutions how we can all cope with certain things in this world that actually affects us all but seems to affect more more so than others you know what i'm saying so guys hit that red box down below stay tuned this is your girl religion link tv i keep saying that for the love of god take two so you guys this is Religion Link TV. I'm your host, Spirituality, and my spiritual ears stay. And guys, this has been The Morning Read, episode 70. <laughs> Here on Religion Link TV's network channel, whatever you want to call it, platform. And guys, I'm your host, Spirituality. I'm just trying to read the scroll before I go. <laughs> Playing with my, my, my graphics and everything here. I'm your host, Spirituality. And today's spiritual food... <coughs> excuse me. Today's spiritual food... Or... Today's daily bread, right? Oh my god, I just love this camera right here and I love the clarity up there, but I'm just having fun with this one. And your daily bread was served from First Chronicles chapter one and two. And with that being said, guys, I'm out of here. I'm so exhausted. I didn't mean to stay this long on two chapters of just names. But I have to give you a little insight breakdown. I'm going to put the beginning of this video together with the backdrop of what the book of Chronicles really is. You will get to hear that in the beginning of the book it was um, 
a Hebrew Bible, and you'll hear it hear that at the beginning of this video. Shalom, you all. God bless you, and thank you so much. I'm taking my ass to bed. I'm sorry. But that's the grace of God. He'll give you the grace and the strength to do all things through Christ who strengthens you. And I needed to be strengthened this morning in order to stay up 24 hours and deliver a massive, new, fresh morning read to you guys without being lethargic and fumbling over my words too bad and sounding drowsy and tired. So with that being said, I do apologize if my voice was a little heavier or out of sync and, you know, I just look like... <laughs> I'm out of here, guys. I'm silly now because I'm tired. <laughs> oh, I can't. And I get, I laugh when I get silly and tired. I get silly and laughable when I get tired. Shalom, y'all. Good night. God bless you. Good morning. Good afternoon. And be at peace. I'm just so amazed at how it all turned out. Thank you. So much for watching religion link tv this is your girl spirituality and my spiritual ears